Welcome to the credit video for Let's Play Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. <sighs> I'm burning dog face. And it's just oh so satisfying to get the, uh, the, the final word in with lockdown. I really liked the uh, use of the DLC G1 Optimus skin. That was clever. Makes me think that the Dark Spark is just going to pop from universe to universe. I could picture it showing up in Beast Wars, so Optimus Primal has to stop the other Megatron from getting his hands on it. Yeah, that last fight was kind of a ball ache, but honestly, it was better than fighting Trypticon at the end of uh, War for Cybertron. Definitely wasn't on par with uh, the Forgotten One. Cursed be his name or lack thereof. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I feel like the... the real reason... I mean, yes, it wasn't quite as good as uh, Fall of Cybertron. It was a lot more... it was more of the same but sometimes, you know, that's not such a bad thing. I mean, they did add in things like the hacks and, you know, mixing up the techs. I really liked Cured. That really came in handy a bunch of times. Oops. Uh... And yeah, the, uh, the new characters, the other stuff, you know... Well, you know, some of the recycled stuff, like playing as Bruticus again, that stood out a bit. But that doesn't mean it wasn't still fun to stomp around as Bruticus and kill all those guys. You know, similarly, uh, they brought back uh, Grimlock, just made it the Age of Extinction Grimlock. Uh, I don't know, I do, I do genuinely feel like a large part of why people hated this game is just because it was tied into the live-action movie franchise, and for whatever reason, everyone hates those movies. I mean, again, you know, I am not unbiased here. I freaking love those movies. There's, there's a giant poster of Optimus Prime from the move, first movie on the wall right in front of me, behind my computer. <laughs> um... But I thought this was a decent game. Wait, T'Challa Jackson? Like, the Black Panther? That's really a name? Or was he named after the comic book character? Huh. That doesn't really matter. Uh... I don't know. This is kind of a weird game. I feel like it would have been better served if it had been entirely in one universe or the other, to be honest. Since there wasn't really much of a crossover to be had. It's just here's a bunch of stuff on Cybertron and here's a bunch of stuff on Earth. And honestly, it kind of feels like the only reason the Cybertron stuff is there is so they didn't have to make a bunch of new models for all the characters. I mean, again, they didn't even use all the Autobots who appeared in the movie. But, uh, recycled though it may have been, I do acknowledge the fact that 
this was designed as a tie-in to Age of Extinction, so it's not like they were going to cut that stuff out. And, uh... And the game probably would have suffered even more if it had just been the Age of Extinction stuff. Since those levels did tend to be a bit, you know, blander and more straightforward. But as it is... The shooting is still really solid. Uh... The gameplay still works just fine. It's not like they somehow intrinsically fucked that up since, uh... Special thanks to High Moon Studios. It's not like they intrinsically fucked that up since, uh, Fall of Cybertron. Let's go into the code and ruin everything. Um... Yeah! If... I had to, you know, pick one direction or the other... If, uh... I had to... make it... make a decision here, then... Yes, I recommend this game. If you're a, if you're a fan of, of uh, the Transformers franchise, then by all means, check this out. Fuck yes, Peter Cullen is Optimus Prime. I knew that was Nolan North. I didn't know he was Bruticus, though. I missed where, uh, Lockdown's actual voice was. Oh well. Yeah, they did create that whole new army. And, you know, you could complain that it's just a recolor of the other, you know, the ones in the first game. But again, the Autobot army is exactly the same as the Decepticon army, so, you know, there's precedent. Suck a dick, Activision. You know, I do think I would make the specific note I would not recommend playing this in you know, in between War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Since, uh... Well, this is basically Fall of Cybertron, which means that that game would make much less of an impact with the improvements it makes over War for Cybertron if you played this one first. Yeah, you know, it's not perfect. The writing was a little uh, shallow this time, but it's a Transformers game. It's really, it's really mostly an excuse for fan service. Let's expl let's face it, <laughs> it serviced me very well. I enjoyed this game. There's another excuse to stomp around in the giant robot boots of uh, my favorite fictional setting, and I had a good time. So yeah, if you're a Transformers fan, by all means, check this game out. For casual, you know, people... Who, you know, I remember the other two games, I recommended it even if you're just into shooters, but this one, I think I would recommend you check out War 4 or Fall of Cybertron first. I have done full Let's Plays of both of those games, if you want to check those out. I don't know that if you can... I think they disabled the ability to make, uh annotations by this point, so, you know, I don't think I can do that anymore. Maybe I can put some, uh, I think they're called cards in, instead. So I'm looking here. Oh, yes. Achievement unlocked. 
Welcome to Earth. Defeat Lockdown. I did unlock an achievement during the final boss fight. And it went like this. What in the hell is he hitting me with? Huh. Achievement unlocked. What does this do? Use 50 tech. You will be my finest trophy, Prime. I will be no one's trophy. So that was fun. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that, didn't I? I have to figure you use, like, I don't know, uh, grenades, and then you shoot the other one just as they arrive or something? Complete the game with a hack active. Yeah, right. Look at that. Almost made it. Just according to Keikaku. Don't know what that is. Well. I did want to check uh, a couple things out here, like Perceptor, for example. I believe he turned into, like, scientific equipment in the original cartoon. That's some kind of giant analysis device. Any day now. You know, I might as well. Primary Neutron Assault Rifle, Heavy, let's go with the Corrosive Slime Cannon, uh... Oh, okay, I didn't actually set the other one. So you know what? Let's do that because I actually really enjoyed the battle sentry ability. And no thank you, actually. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have Perceptor. I want to check him out, too. Actually, are there any Decepticons I wanted to check out? No, I guess we're good. Maybe this guy. Can't quite tell what he turns into. There is an achievement I saw that kind of confuses me. Actually, it's this one right here. Aligned. Choose your allegiance. 
Obviously, I would pick Autobots, but I don't know how to do that or in order to unlock it. Uh, yeah. And you pick a map. Uh, that one. That's actually a lie. There's like ten seconds after that. After the loading screen, even. I'm gonna include the whole thing this time. What the hell? You know, points on them for throwing in all the characters that were for pay DLC in uh, Fall of Cybertron. Actually, in that game, you customized your own robot for escalation mode, and you used existing characters for uh, multiplayer mode. Made myself basically a big green Optimus for, uh... Look at that, you do start with a study select. That's a tank. Perceptor is a tank. I honestly did not see that coming. I say... Eat shit and die. Like that big thing on his shoulder that turns into the tank barrel. Ready I'm, for battle. I'm pretty sure that used to be a uh, like a little lens of a giant microscope or something. Let's skip the. Uh... I pushed it too fast. Let's skip the uh, the uh, loading screens this time. Okay, so this here is classic Optimus Prime, based on the one from the G1 cartoon. Oh, look at that, he doesn't even, like, deploy and splay open like the, uh, Earth robots do in this game. Standard gun, though. Interesting. Here comes the next wave. Ooh, I like that. A little jaunty spin. Five, four. Stop that. Three, two, one. I can't tell if it's a classic sound or not. I think it's the new one. Still, you know, close enough. I think everybody gets the charge move in robot mode here. Oh, fuck, I thought you were dead. Our friend is out. Press on. Ah, well. Uh, one thing I thought was neat about that specifically, if you get the DLC package that contains the classic Optimus Prime skin, in addition to the uh, Retro Blaster, and I think for some reason the three uh, Insecticons, you can actually use the Optimus Classic skin in single player mode, even though it doesn't make any sense. That was, oh, I thought that was kind of cool. Looks, uh... Looks like dead end is a car, but... Oh! It's like a drag racer. What's well, a little spinny thing, that's nice. Hmm. Somehow you managed to survive. But there's more on the horizon. Not this Fire. time, Megatron. Now look at all this. You have to go through these loading screens to quit back out to the, uh, to the game. So let's see. Look at the, uh, achievements I didn't get. 
Yeah, it's late. Got started real late today. Good times. Good times. Uh, Align to choose your allegiance. You got the touch. Reach level 25. Covenant of Primus. Activate Prime Mode, which is something you unlock at level 25, so... Not gonna make it. I think I'm level 13. Uh, tough. Make it through wave 5 in Escalation. Double tough. Make it through wave 10 in Escalation. Double tough hard. Make it through wave 15 in Escalation. Hmm. Upgrades. Upgrade any installation to max level in Escalation. Somebody's watching me. Find all the stalker's observations. Make it rain. Discover the fate of the en uh, entrepreneur. Spoils of war. Listen to all of the veterans' laments. Snitches get stitches. I guess I was about to try and earn that one just for the sake of this video, but... As Drift destroy all the alien anti-alien propaganda billboards. Spectacularly amazing! As Sideswipe get through the whole chasm using less than six grapples. Man, it's like the ones I didn't get with all the ones with the achievements on them. What could go wrong? As Optimus complete the rescue of Cliffjumper without using the turret. I'd like to leave here, please. As Jetfire act escape the ruins of Trypticon without taking any damage in the laser gates. Give me the news, Doc. Heal 50,000 health points amongst you and your allies. Need oil can. Defeat 75 enemies that are slowed. Bleeding Edge. Complete the game with a hack active. Blasters! 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 Unlock every weapon. Vroompire! Defeat 50 enemies by siphoning their health away with the Energon Harvester. Why you have to be mad? Use the V32 Cyber Corruptor on a power foe and have them defeat an enemy. I don't know what that means. Shadow Company. Defeat 25 enemies after using the Cloak ability. Thumbs up, soldier! Defeat 35 enemies using throwback damage from the Kinetic Capacitor Shield ability. Marked for destruction. Defeat 50 enemies marked with EDU. Turret Buddy. Defeat 25 enemies with your battle sentry. Healing.exe. Repair 5,000 points of damage with your repair sentry. Quartermaster. Resupply 250 times in the ammo supply core. Totally OP. Defeat 100 enemies with the riot cannon. <laughs> I guess I was right. I hope you have insurance. Heal 150,000... Sorry, heal 15,000 health points with your heal beam. Scrapped. Use explosive path to defeat 35 enemies. Tormenta. Use Thunder Blast to earn 35 multi kills. Loads of money. Earn 25,000 Energon shards. Full Metal Jacket. Reload 1,000 times. Hmm. That's what it says where the fucking audio logs are. There were some in this level that I totally didn't find. I did terribly with the audio logs in this game. At least I got all the weapons loggers. Unlocked chapters will remain accessible in the chapter select menu, then absolutely. One. Two. I think that might have been the one I missed before. Three. Oop, make this quick. Four. Show. And six. Nice. Huh. Oh. Seven. 
There. With change. And there you have it. Snitches get stitches, as Drift destroy all the anti-alien propaganda billboards. Yeah. I popped into here because I forgot to do it in the, uh... Well, the beginning of level two. Let's open the last gearboxes. What the hell? Mm-hmm. I'm probably never going to play the game again, but you know. I feel like the hacks are something you really play around with when you're going through the game again to make it, you know, more interesting. Oh yeah, it does say that it stuns larger enemies on the, uh, dimensional, uh, decimator. Hmm, maybe for the repair sentry to the, uh, combat sentry. That way it would be like having a cured whenever you want it. It would be really funny if I got uh, an upgrade for the scrap maker in here. Hey, Star Scream! Finally got that guy. Well, there you go. And there you have it. I really gotta get to compressing the video, so... Let's end this here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Drift, and all of the other Transformers that I played through this campaign as, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I hope you enjoyed watching. I thank you for, uh, you know, not giving up at the disclaimer I put in the first video. And I hope you'll join me for my next video series. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later!